before the beginning. I like to disclose or illustrate of I shall make you understand about why we need to know parts of speech. is initially what is important and we put the beginning to teach you English it is important much to study about this not to study you have to understand it clearly you have to have deep understanding about noun its kinds when we just will go read the books you must get all this but initially we need to know about its definition and what is its activation being in the sentence how noun house how pronoun house how how helps so according to all the parts of speech these are very much important and we need to know so now and now i discuss the noun and the pronoun noun and the pronoun noun is a naming word and usually we know and you must have its idea and pronoun is substituted or substitution of noun when we need noun and pronoun it is just naming or it is called the substituted words is called the pronoun and the next is important is adjective and what is it it's a key adjective We need to have the right concept about the adjective. Adjective means it qualifies about noun and pronoun. What are the words are added to noun and pronoun is normally considered or defined or identified as adjective. These are important much then. we can proceed then the third important part is you have to understand this one and if we fail to understand then we would never be able to develop and we will not be able to have a strong hold at english And before that, I just make you understand. I just say you, it's not a doctrine, but it is understood in the easiest language. Later onwards, I shall discuss in details about, and you must get the right concept about it. So then, adverb means what is called a verb. It is important much to make a sentence, and it has the definition and it. has added to many in details if we go then it has different divisions and before beginning of teaching english how can you develop how can you have a hold how can you understand how can you apply what is important it is a great role then you see with now and we never just you qualify something else or modify something else about noun and pronoun or to add few words or word to noun and pronoun is called adjective then verb so then adverb what is adverb adverb means 
it qualifies or it extends or it adds about adverb, about verb and about adjective. That means adjective qualifies a noun and pronoun or it modifies noun or pronoun. Similarly, adverb it qualifies or it adds or it says about adverb, verb. So no, there are tradition nothing else. These are the thought. And what is adverb? Adverb is always it qualifies about ad about adverb. It says about adverb. It says about verb. It says about adjective. The adjective is it is called adverb. So I shall discuss and illustrate in details about it. Correct concept. How can you have this one so that being being all you can use bitir kichu karun ni er pari ki ase jokon amra bakko ta gorthon kore felbo noun pronoun adjective verb adverb diye eglo common eta amar bakko gorthon korte gele this eta kam jodi ektai dhori dui ti charte ekta pradhan ongsho ekta bakke tal er pore jeta ashe is called conjunction Later onwards you can understand this. Then three position. Three position. Three position is a word. It takes place before noun and pronoun. In order to make a relation with the previous words in the sentence, it's called three position. Just it helps to extend the sentence. It helps to make a relation with the previous words. Is it? I think you have understood by this time. So whenever we will be able to understand this part, this part of speech, we need to have the right concept. So nothing else, it is a naming word, it is a substituted word or it is qualifying about, it tells about, it adds about, it says about noun and pronoun is called adjective and verb is, but is, it is defined as, it says about the subject or the doer, I shall define it in details, you would have no problem. So exactly these definitions are to be made clear first. And being in the sentence, what is what are the activation of this parts of speech? Ultimately, no problem. Everything will be made clear. So it is first of all the basic introduction. introduce in English language is it clear and then you see another the last one it's so called emotional it's called interjection. It's a word. It is a part of speech. Its definition is to add words about excitement, emotion, surprise, or something else like. 
it is really you being in the center it make the center exciting or emotional it is shima that is called punctuation so we can understand it whenever just we will go in three terms about this so first of all the basic introduction to introduce in english language we are in a need to have the right concept about this and whenever i shall start making sentences clauses phrases everything else whatever could arise or whatever could appear our sentences how can we develop so these are all important part and it is only in grammar these are elaboratedly discussed and illustrated and narrated in a grammar book the base and the basic is only this noun pronoun verb adjective preposition conjunction and interjection so nothing more than that but we do not try to understand this part we do not try to read we do not try to exercise so that is our fault that is not the teacher we try to teach and perhaps i don't know about the other teachers but i do not do simply before entering to my institution or my private tuition i usually make the students happy and within one month two months or three months they become much familiar and i use parallelly bengali and english and there are just we draw little 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 in bengali then i introduce up to 80% i use english and then 20% and sometimes i continue using english or speaking english or making you understand my illustration is used but now at initial stage you might have an idea it's a tough language but no i can make you i can assure you it is ensured the parts of it is very important and another is thing is on words is called the figure speech if i give you i can speak as but now it is not going to discuss but figures of speech after words i must introduce but these are very much important so the students hardly you did take one month or two months within that much i think you will be able to understand this now the pronoun the adjective the verb that verb conjunction to push and it's it interjects i shall provide you with the definition and then provide you with many provide you the examples how you can detect which is adjective which is adverb which is verb which is conjunction preposition and rest of that so in our discussion everything will be made clear and about this about this about this about this everything is to be made clear with the sentences and you have to find it out you have to detect what is noun what is pronoun what is in a sentence what is adverb what is preposition what is conjunction everything will be made clear and it is initially it is important it is significant the significance is to be followed and you are to understand it and if we, once you can understand it thus in this language will be is your then our mother tongue bengali ami sotti kotha english bangla bujhte koshto hobe kintu english bujhte pa likhte oshubidha kichu hobe ar bola ta ami ekhane kore thaki oshubidha kichu hobe তবে ফাউল বোর্ডস অ্যান্ড ফাউল টিচিংসটাকে ভালোবাসি না আমি অনর্থক ইংরেজি বলতে চাই না আমি যেটুকু বলবো সেটা তোমাদের 
कर्मप्रूफ ओहरे प्रवेश कर व्यवहार कर तो एप्लीकेशन आज के इंग्रजी सिस्टम के शिक्षा दैट इज कॉल्ड इंग्लिश जहाँ in details so then you will get it okay by this time i think whenever i shall upload the second episode you must have this and then i shall discuss about gradually it will come the episodically i think it will help you to have an idea about this english language and you will start considering it as a language so for the time being Viewers, I am making my, I am withdrawing myself on. So wait for the next episode. I think by that time you must have studied this and you must have followed this. Thank you.